Hey, Aaron here. I'm the host of Table Talk, our weekly Airtable live stream. And what you're about to watch is a summary of the stream. So it takes our hour long session, boils it down to its most essentials, so you can get the information you need quickly. So without further ado, let's get started with the stream summary. What is Airtable Sync? So Airtable Sync lets you pull information from other sources into your Airtable base so your team gets a real-time view into the information you need to do your part of the workflow. So in this case, we're going to put ourselves in the shoes of a marketing team that creates campaigns around upcoming furniture that is launching. There's a lot of information around these pieces of furniture. And so that information lives with another team. The product team works out of this product roadmap base. Here they have three statuses for potential pieces of furniture development. And then lock means that it's a piece of furniture that they know they're going to launch at a specific date. Now locked is really that moment where this marketing team needs information. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create a view, which we're going to call launches that filters down to where the status is any of locked or launched. One limitation of shared views is that person who relies on this information needs to go into this URL all the time and they need to think, well, what changed? So sync solves that by allowing data in the view to be synced to other bases. So you see this little configuration right here. If we turn that on, that means anyone who has access to that view can sync the information into their base. Now note, you might want to restrict the view to an email domain or to a password, limiting the people who can sync the information from that view. So let's go ahead and copy paste this URL and let's pull in this information into our campaign tracker base. I'm going to add a new table. We're going to go ahead and sync data from an air table base, pasting that share view link into the URL bar right here clicking next and we're going to sync all fields from the source. So you can sync specific fields. You have access to all of the fields that are in the view. So if anything's hidden in the view, you won't have access to sync it, but I need all fields in the source and I want it to be synced at regular intervals. And I do want when deleted records are hidden. So now I have this synced table and I can tell that it's synced because it's got this little lightning bolt emoji. Now, what's important here is that this information comes from the view source. So I'm talking about this view right here. And I want to say the word destination. That means where the sync ends up. So what's important to remember is that any changes in the source are reflected in the destination. And so this ability is one of the key functionalities of Airtable Sync to truly create a single source of truth. So that means when the product team changes something, I'm aware of it in my table automatically. I don't need to go to a URL. How do I work with synced tables? The most important thing you need to remember is that a synced table acts pretty much like any other table in your base, meaning this is information in your Airtable base that you can use. I can create my own way of working with the information from someone else's table or base. So let's just take a moment and create a linked record to say that this campaign is tied to this specific product. Let's just link some of them. And now what I can do is I can look up information. So let's go ahead and add a lookup field. So I can say product launch date. So now I have a, a thread that goes from the product team, updating information, gets updated into my launches table, and then I'm pulling that information into campaigns. And now I have the product launch date directly in my campaigns table. One thing I do want to talk about is this ability to use other functionality like automations with sync. And one common one is to go ahead and say, I'd love my team to be notified when something changes or when a record is created. So let's create a custom automation. So I'm going to do when a record is created, we're going to go into our launches table. That's where a record needs to be created for the automation to run. And then I'm going to go ahead and send a notification. So we're going to go to that channel and then we have full control over the message. I'm going to go ahead and pull from step one and go more information here. 
gonna go ahead and grab the URL, right? Give something that folks can click on and instantly understand more about that product. And that's it. Can I sync more than one source? The answer is yes. Let's go back into our campaign tracker. Let's assume that these different campaigns require different assets. So one of our design teams works in Airtable while another just uploads all of their information into Box and us have to know whether has something been approved, does something need to be changed. We're gonna sync data from Airtable. So I'm gonna go into that shared view and I'm gonna allow data to be synced to other bases. I'm gonna copy that URL. I'm gonna paste that here. Next, I want all, I want it to be synced regularly. Now I have my first sync. Now what's important to remember here is that every tool that you bring in will have different information that you're syncing. So you'll notice here, if I go click on the little arrow here and go add records from, there's a few options here. I can add Jira, Google Calendar, Google Drive, Box, GitHub, and Zendesk. So I'm gonna go to Box. I'm gonna sync everything in Design Assets. There we go. And this is gonna create one record for each design asset that we have. And you see in a moment that we have a record for each item. And so now we have one destination for these multiple sources. The last thing is that here, you can create a unified status, right? So that was how you use multi-source sync from Box using Airtable, but it's very similar whether you're syncing from Zendesk, GitHub, or other sources. That was the stream summary. I hope you got the information you needed. If you wanna dig into the details and watch the whole stream, you can click here. And I hope to see you next week in the chat at Table Talk happening every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you there.